The U.S. and India agreed to move forward with plans to jointly produce striker armored vehicles in a bid to strengthen Indian ground forces amid a tense border dispute between New Delhi and Beijing. This development came during the annual 2 plus 2 ministerial consultations being held between the country's foreign and defense ministers in New Delhi. The deal was announced after a meeting between U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin with their Indian counterparts Dr. Jay Shankar and Rajnath Singh in New Delhi. The U.S. officials met with Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the evening. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why India wants to produce American Striker locally. Let's get into the details. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The majority of the vehicles will be deployed along India's border with China. The two countries share a 2,100-mile or 3,379-kilometer border. Both countries have a difference in perception of their actual alignment at nearly 14 different points. This has emerged as an issue between the two nuclear-armed nations. Though a series of mostly non-lethal scuffles over the positions of the border have taken place over the years, tensions escalated sharply in June 2020 at Gawan when hand-to-hand -hand fighting between the two sides resulted in the deaths of at least 20 Indian and 60-plus Chinese soldiers. The terrain is harsh, and a vehicle like Stryker is a suitable platform. In October 1999, General Eric Shinseki, then U.S. Army Chief of Staff, outlined a transformational plan for the Army that would allow it to adapt to post-Cold War conditions. The plan, named Objective Force, would have the Army adopt a flexible doctrine that would allow it to deploy quickly and be equipped for a variety of operations. An early phase of the plan called for the introduction of a vehicle which was intended to fill the capability gap between heavier and heavily armed but not easily deployable vehicles such as the M2 Bradley and easily deployable vehicles that are lightly armed and protected, such as the Humvee. The ICV, or Infantry Carrier Vehicle, Striker, is a family of eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles. It's essentially a variant of the Canadian LAV-3. Striker vehicles are produced by General Dynamics Land Systems for the United States Army. This advanced armored personnel carrier utilizes cutting-edge informational technologies featuring a battlefield information management system that seamlessly connects with other vehicles and command posts. GPS receivers provide precise position information. The Stryker armored personnel carrier accommodates a two-person crew consisting of a commander and a driver and can transport a fully equipped squad of nine troops. Troops ingress and egress are facilitated by a rear, power-operated ramp with integral doors or roof hatches. The primary function of the Stryker Armored Personnel Carrier is to ensure secure transportation for its occupants with the ability to provide support during dismounted assaults in certain scenarios. Equipped with four-wheel drive, 8x4, it can be switched to an all-wheel drive, 8x8 configuration. The Stryker outperforms numerous other armored personnel carriers, surpassing designs from both Russia and China in terms of protection. Its front arc can withstand hits from 14.5mm heavy machine gun rounds. 
offering all-round protection against 7.62 millimeter NATO ball rounds, the striker can be further enhanced with ceramic add-on armor to provide comprehensive defense against 14.5 millimeter armor-piercing rounds. The vehicle's interior is lined to safeguard the crew and passengers from spalling. To fortify its undercarriage against mine blasts, the striker has undergone strengthening measures, contributing to its claimed superiority over other APCs in terms of survivability against mined and improvised explosive devices. External fuel tanks are designed to blow away from the hull in the event of an explosion. Equipped with automatic fire suppression and NBC protection systems, strikers deployed in combat zones are fitted with steel cages, known as slat armor, offering protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. A recent development includes an explosive reactive armor kit designed to replace the slat armor in combat areas. In terms of firepower, the striker is armed with either an M2 12.7 mm heavy machine gun or a Mark 19 40 mm automatic grenade launcher, both mounted in a remotely controlled weapon station. The annual 2 plus 2 meeting of top diplomats and defense officials occurred amid U.S. officials' consistent indications of Washington's sustained emphasis on China. Even amidst concurrent challenges such as the Israel-Hamas conflict and the Russia-Ukraine war. Secretary of Defense Austin, during a news conference, advocated for increased defense cooperation between Washington and New Delhi to uphold the rules-based international order. The agreement signifies a growing trust between the two nations involving the transfer of advanced U.S. technology. This deal is the latest example of ongoing efforts to enhance defense technology cooperation between the U.S. and India both of which are members of the Quad, a security dialogue that also includes Japan and Australia. Viewers may note that a formal agreement was established during Prime Minister Modi's state visit to Washington in June, focusing on the in-country production of General Electric's fighter jet engines for the Indian Air Force. The U.S. has signed two agreements with Indian shipyards, securing access to more logistic sites in the Indo-Pacific region that would reduce downtime for American ships. So it's evident that when it comes to geo strategies, the interests of the world's oldest and world's most populous democracy have aligned, and the striker deal is part of the larger game plan. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.